Hello everybody, welcome back to Mason Zero ASMR. It's been a minute since I've made a video, but I recently picked up this Magic the Gathering Kaldheim bundle, and I thought that it would make a great video. As I'm recording this, the set came out yesterday. Uh, shout out to Amazon for delivering this very quickly. So I didn't want to get a full booster box, uh, but I had some Amazon gift card money and figured a bundle would be a good way to spend it. I've been just opening up, or I, so I haven't been opening bags, I've just been buying singles uh, for the last several sets, and I kind of miss opening. So this bundle features a alternative art premium foil reflections of litjara card 10 15 card kaldheim draft boosters a kaldheim card box 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic lands they are not the snow lands that are in the set though which is really dumb and then one special oversized spin down life counter and of course two reference cards for new players. Your victory has been foretold. Welcome to Kaldheim, a frozen land of prophecy and legend. The paths between realms have been opened, and war has broken out between gods, mortals, and monsters. Distinguish yourself in combat, and your story will be retold for generations. May your saga live on. Alright, without further ado, let's open these boosters. cool little call time thing here a little ad um <laughs> very cool i love the metal aesthetic uh oh i guess this is just a little card box what is this this looks empty okay yeah just a little little card box it's cool and then of course we have the main bundle box there's also a card storage area. Whoa, that. Oh. I was gonna say this die is really cool. Uh, and it is. There's my camera. There we go. It is cool, but it looks like it's made out of metal, but in fact it's very light, hollow plastic. But despite that, this is a very cool oversized die. A nice little addition. reference cards that talk about how to play magic. We have our Kaldheim basic lands, not snow lands, just regular. And then we have our promo card with all the foil lands. Let's open that up. So reflections, reflections of Litjara. That comes in every bundle. This alternate art foil. It is a four and a blue for an enchantment. As reflections of Litjara enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. So pretty, pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of foil lands, which is really awesome. Even though they're not the snow lands. It's really cool having foil basics. This isn't a lot of them. It's like, what, five of each? Or four of each? But still, very cool. Very exciting stuff. 
Okay, now let's get to the meat of it, the 10 booster packs. I'm gonna zoom in the camera real quick and then uh, we'll get to it. Okay, let us open it. Battlefield Raptor. One white for a 1-2 creature bird flying first strike. It wheeled upward away from the shrieks and thunder. It reached the point where sky met smoke and with but a glance at the horizon aimed itself and dove. Berg Strider. Four and a blue for a 4-4 four four snow creature giant wizard. When Berg Strider enters the battlefield, tap target artifact or creature an opponent controls. If snow is spent to cast a spell, that permanent doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Snakeskin Veil. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains hexproof until end of turn. That's an instant for one green mana. Does a serpent roar and chase its prey? No, a serpent waits silently for oblivious prey to draw near. So I'm having a hard time figuring out where to, where to put these. I'm just gonna do it like that. A wither Crown, one and a black for an enchantment aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has base power zero and has, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you sacrifice this creature. We'll see each other again soon. Egon, God of Death. Mistwalker, two and a blue for a one four creature shapeshifter with changeling. This card is every creature type. Has flying, and you can pay one and a blue. Mistwalker gets plus one, minus one, until end of turn. To escape Litjara, follow a bird. To scary folklore. Shimmer Drift Veil. Snowland. Shimmer Drift Veil enters the battlefield tapped. As Shimmer Drift Veil enters the battlefield, choose a color. Tap, add one mana of the chosen color. Reflections from the wind-sculpted snow gleam with every color of the rainbow. That'd be a cool foil. Stalwart Valkyrie. Three and a white for a 3-2 creature, Angel Warrior. You may pay one and a white and exile a creature card from your graveyard rather than pay the spell's mana cost flying. Only the worthy may pass. But having fun with this card in aggro decks on Magic Arena. <laughs> Dusk Wielder. One black for a 1-2 creature. Elf Berserker. Boast for one generic. Target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. My shadow alone will slay you. We have our first foretell card. Sorulf's Packmate. Three and a green for a 3 3 creature wolf. When Sorulf's Packmate enters the battlefield, draw a card. Foretell for one and a green. Open the Omen Paths. Two and a red for an instant. Choose one. Add two mana of any one color and two mana of any other color. Spend this mana only to cast creature or enchantment spells. Or creatures you control get plus one plus O oh until end of turn. We're on to our uncommons. Hailstorm Valkyrie. Three into black for a 2 2 snow creature, angel wizard, with flying and trample. 
can pay two snow, and Hailstorm Valkyrie gets plus two, plus two, until end of turn. When the path to Starnheim was opened, vengeance rained down upon the enemies of Bredegard. Giant's Amulet. One blue for an artifact equipment. When Giant's Amulet enters the battlefield, you may pay three into blue. If you do, create a 4-4 blue giant wizard creature token, then attach Giant's Amulet to it. Equipped creature gets plus 0, plus 1, and has, this creature has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Equip 2. And then we have one of the uncommon lands with a two-color activated ability, which I think are really cool. Litjara Mirror Lake, land. Litjara Mirror Lake enters the battlefield tapped. Tap to add blue. Pay two generic, two green, and a blue, and tap, and sacrifice Litjara Mirror Lake. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. And our rare is... Ooh, this is a card I was excited about. Mystic Reflection. One in a blue for an instant. Choose target non-legendary creature. The next time, one or more creatures or planeswalkers enter the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature. Fertel for one blue. This card can be very good. Imagine playing this in Commander. You cast Avenger of Zendikar which makes a bunch of plant tokens equal to the number of uh, lands you control. So, uh, with that on the stack, you play Mystic Reflection, choosing Avenger of Zendikar. And then all of those plant tokens, let's say you have eight of them, they're all going to come in as copies of Avenger of Zendikar, and each of them will make eight more plant tokens. So, in a scenario like that, this card is incredible. And then we have a wonderful snow-covered mountain and a human warrior token. Very cool. Second pack. Stainful Stroke, a reprint that's appeared a few times in Standard ever since its appearance in uh, Cons of Tarkir, I believe. A Disdainful Stroke, one in a blue for an instant. Counter target spell with converted mana cost four or greater. The Scald boasted that he could outsing the sea. Cosima heard him and drowned his village with a single wave. Longbeard Saga. Breakneck Berserker, 2 and a red for a 3-2 creature, Dwarf Berserker, with haste. Go for the knees. The last giant who tried to get past us got rolled back down the mountain in a dozen pieces. <laughs> Warhorn Blast, 4 and a white for an instant. Creatures you control, get plus 2, plus 1 until end of turn. Fortell for 2 and a white. Mead down, swords up. Grim Draugr, two and a black, for a 3-2 snow creature, zombie berserker. Pay one in a snow, and Grim Draugr gets plus one plus O, oh, and gains menace until end of turn. She was a ragged shadow of her living form, but she had lost none of her deadly prowess. Glittering Frost, two and a green for a snow enchantment aura. Enchant land. Enchanted land is snow. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of any color. At last, the storm's rage subsided, leaving silent frozen beauty in its wake. Sculptor of Winter, one and a green for a 2-2 snow creature, Elf Rogue. 
tap to untap target Snowland. I and my kin remember the old ways. The frost whispers to me in a language too ancient for the Scoti usurpers to comprehend. Feed the serpent. Two and two black for an instant. Exile target creature or planeswalker. He spent the final moments of his existence tumbling down the length of the serpent's jaws, driven mad by the magnitude of the cosmos. Iron Verdict. Two and a white for an instant. Iron Verdict deals five damage to target tapped creature. For tell, for one white. You'll raid nothing but mist in Istvel. Vault Robber. One and a red for a 1-3 creature, Dwarf Rogue. Pay one and tap. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a treasure token. The dwarves believe works of art should be passed down the generations, not buried with the dead. Our first uncommon, Rune of Speed. One and a red for an enchantment or a rune. Enchant permanent. When Rune of Speed enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it gets plus one plus O oh and has haste. As long as enchanted permanent is an equipment, it has equipped creature, gets plus one plus O, oh, and has haste. Frostpire Arcanist. Four and a blue for a two five creature giant wizard. This spell costs one less to cast if you control a giant or a wizard. When Frostpire Arcanist enters the battlefield, search your library for an instant or sorcery card with the same name as a card in your graveyard, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Oh, and we have our first, um, uh, I'm not sure what they're calling these, but, you know, showcase cards, I suppose. Narfi Betrayer King, three, a blue and a black, for a 4-3 legendary snow creature, zombie wizard. Other snow and zombie creatures you control get plus one plus one. Pay three snow and return Narfi Betrayer King from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Let's get a closer look at that if we can. Pretty cool. And it looks like wood. And our rare is another showcase card. Bergy, God of Storytelling. Two and a red for a legendary creature, God, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you cast a spell, add red. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Creatures you control can boast twice during each of your turns, rather than once. This is a double-sided card, but I saw that we have a foil behind it. So I'm going to put that upside down see this card we have harnfell horn of bounty four and a red for a legendary artifact discard a card exile the top two cards of your library you may play those cards this turn it's pretty cool two showcase cards and then a foil which is oh no first we have alpine meadow and then we have valor of the worthy which is one white for an enchantment aura Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. When enchanted creature leaves the battlefield, create a one one white spirit creature token with flying. If I am to die, let it be a hero's death. Pack three. Not sure. I'll probably open four or five of the packs here on video. this video would be quite long. Seize the spoils. Two and a red for a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast this spell, discard a card. Draw two cards and create a treasure token. Grab what you want and burn the rest. Leave nothing behind. 
One thing I was going to point out is we got no duplicate cards in those two packs, which is great. But I'm sure we'll find at least one duplicate in this pack that we've already opened. Gold Ma Champion. Two and a white for a 2-3 creature dwarf warrior. Boast, one and a white. Tap target creature. That was nothing. I once took down a frost giant with a spoon. Oh, yep, there's our first duplicate. Disdainful Stroke again. We've also already read Breakneck Berserker. Uh, broken Wings. Two and a green for an instant. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Finn climbed the highest peak and waited, still and silent, until the falling snow had hidden him entirely. When the great eagle flew past, the hunter's aim was true. Saga of the Wisdom Seeker. Grim Draugr, we've already had that as well. King Harold's Revenge. Two and a green for a sorcery. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control and gains trample. It must be blocked this turn, if able. We will destroy the pretenders and reclaim the divinity of the Einir. Augury Raven. Three and a blue for a three three creature bird with flying and foretell for one and a blue. Some ravens collect shiny baubles, others hoard omens and secrets. Code spell cleric, one white for a one one creature human cleric with vigilance. When code spell cleric enters the battlefield, if it was the second spell you cast this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Today we are not Beskir or Tuscari. We must fight as one clan, shoulder to shoulder, to defend our rightful home. Funeral Longboat. Two generic for a 3-3 artifact vehicle with vigilance and crew one. Cast onto the windless water, he drifted until the sea turned to sky. Saga of the Lost King. Our first uncommon is Replicating Ring, three generic for a snow artifact. Tap, add one mana of any color. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a knight counter on Replicating Ring. Then if it has eight or more knight counters on it, remove all of them and create eight colorless snow artifact tokens named Replicating Ring with tap, add one mana of any color. Blood Sky Berserker, one and a black for a 1 1 creature, human berserker. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put two plus one plus one counters on Blood Sky Berserker. It gains menace until end of turn. Who's next? Who is next indeed? Morite of the Frost is next. Another uh, alternate frame card. Two a green and two blue for a zero zero legendary snow creature shapeshifter with changeling. You may have Morite of the Frost enter the battlefield as a copy of a permanent you control, except it's legendary and snow in addition to its other types. And if it's a creature, it enters with two additional plus one plus one counters on it and has changeling. Copy of a permanent. That's pretty cool. You can copy a Planeswalker with this. All right, and our rare is another blue and green card, the Bears of Litjara. One, a green, and a blue for a Saga. Step one, create a 2-2 two -two blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Step two, any number of target shapeshifter creatures you control have base power and toughness 4-4. Four -four. And step three, choose up to one target creature or Planeswalker. Each creature with power 4 or greater you control deals damage equal to its power to that permanent. Not too bad. And then we have a snow-covered plains and a Tyvar Kel emblem, which is whenever you cast an elf spell, it gains haste until end of turn and you draw two cards. Not too bad. Alright, 
Okay, let's open one more pack. Mists of Litjara, one and a blue for an enchantment aura with flash. Enchant creature or vehicle. Enchanted creature gets minus three, minus O. Oh. The Skell Raiders boasted that nothing could stop them. Certainly not a bit of fog. Haggy Mob, four and a red for a five, four creature. Troll Berserker with boast for one and a red. Haggy Mob deals one damage to any target. Grog. Master Scald. Four and a white for a 4-4 creature, Dwarf Warrior. When Master Scald enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, Return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. All my scars have stories to tell. Snakeskin Veil, which we've already read. Demonic Gifts. One in a black for an instant. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus O oh and gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. It began as a flavor on the tongue, like a bloody morsel of roast boar, but soon the power was a conflagration in her veins. I see a saga back there. <laughs> Hopefully it's another Bears of Lajara. Uh, Dusk Wielder, we've already seen. Sarulf's Packmate, we have already seen. I've also seen Open the Omen Paths. Uh... Frost Peak Yeti. Three and a blue for a 3-3 three, three snow creature Yeti. One and a snow, and Frost Peak Yeti can't be blocked this turn. Some heroes line their coats with Yeti fur. More Yetis line their bellies with heroes. Jarl of the Forsaken. Three and a black for a 3-2 creature zombie cleric with flash. When Jarl of the Forsaken enters the battlefield, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Foretell for one and a black. Uh, our first uncommon is Spirit of the Alder Guard. A three and a green for a zero four snow creature, uh, bear spirit. When Spirit of the Alder Guard enters the battlefield, search your library for a snow land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Spirit of the Alder Guard gets plus one, plus O oh for each other snow permanent you control. Clarion Spirit, one in a white for a 2 2 creature spirit. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. Not bad. To the living, the horn sounds faint and mournful, but to the spirits of Istvel, it is a thunderous call that must be obeyed. Uh, okay. The saga was actually an uncommon. The trickster gods heist. Step one, you may exchange control of two target creatures. Step two, you may exchange control of two target non-basic, non-creature permanents that share a card type. And step three, target player loses three life and you gain three life. Not bad. And our rare is you know, Search for Glory. Two and a white for a snow sorcery. Search your library for a snow permanent card, a legendary card, or a saga card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. You gain one life for each snow spent to cast this spell. Pretty good card, and it, the snow doesn't even matter. It works on its own. And we have a snow-covered plains and a replicated ring token. It's cool. We got the replicated ring before. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to open. I'm going to open the rest off camera, but... 
that was around 30 minutes, so I think that was uh, pretty good. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I apologize for not uploading much recently, but I'll work on it. <laughs> Expect sporadic videos for sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Call Time, if you've opened any or played any online or in person or whatever. I think it's a pretty cool set and there's a lot of cards I'm excited about. And so far drafting online has been so much fun. This set is so well designed. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all again and I will see you in the next video.